Good morning, Lena here. So this is my college student slash traveler's guide to makeup. Every product that I've featured in this video can be purchased at either Walmart or Target, can fit into a travel size makeup bag, and can go through security at the airport. The entire haul cost me under $20 and takes about four minutes to put on every morning, so this is the general look that I'll be getting with these products. First thing is foundation. I used to never wear foundation. I hate the way liquid foundation feels on my hands and my face. I like to be able to touch my face. So a powder foundation is great for me. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, it covers up the little redness that I get. It stays on all day and it doesn't, like when you touch your face, powder doesn't come off, so it's fabulous. I'm using Maybelline New York's Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation and I'm using the translucent powder number 100. It works great, it's got a mirror inside of it, and it comes with a pad, so this makes it automatically travelable. Ooh, am I blinding you? Am I, blind am I blinding you? Oh, I'm sorry! It's like those little laser pointers that they used to use at churches and stuff, where they blind people with them. Next are my eyeshadows. I have two palettes. The big one was $9. I have had it for eight months. I use it every single day, and only one of the colors is completely gone. Hence why I purchased this, which was under $3 and it's number 10 vanilla and then this is the palette that i use on a regular basis i primarily use these two obviously i used up the white that was in here all of these colors are fabulous they work great for smoky eyes which is what i do for the most part this is the most expensive item in this haul it was almost ten dollars but it's lasted me eight months a little bit goes a long way with this palette and again i did have to replace the white with the 10s vanilla which this works way better than the white that was in there anyway, so I love it. It's, I love this. It's great. You hear that? That's my cat, Smokey, just... Yeah. What? What'd you want? What you calling about, cat? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> the next thing is my favorite eyeliner. I've tried a lot of liquid eyeliners through the years. This is by far my favorite. It's quick, it's easy, and it's mess-free. It is the ELF, or ELF, cat. It's the ELF or ELF and it's their Intense Ink Eyeliner. It's got a brush tip and it's great because depending on how much pressure and what angle you use depends on how thick the line's going to be. So today I did a thinner line with mine. Sometimes I like to have a really thick fat line and it goes on really smooth. It's great for cat eyes. It's great for wing tips. It is a fabulous product. And then for my mascara I use the Wet n Wild Mega Volume. It's great, it's a medium sized brush tip. I have had this for about six months and there's still plenty left in it. I use one pump per eye and it works great. My eyelashes aren't super clumpy, They're, it's really nice. And finally, I'm really into Maybelline New York right now and L'Oreal Paris with my lipstick. So L'Oreal Paris is a little more expensive, Maybelline New York is a little more expensive. This is Crazy for Coffee, number 275, it's the color I'm wearing. And it's a bit more of on the red side of nude. I love it. It goes great for pale skin. I wear a lot of grays and muted tones and reds, so it goes super great with everything I wear. And it stays on. If you put it on, leave it for a few minutes before you drink your coffee, you're good all day, and I just wipe it off when I have dinner at night. It's so nice. And it doesn't dry your lips out. It's not gunky. It's a high quality lipstick. I really highly recommend this and L'Oreal Paris. For those, I really do feel like it's worth the expense. They last for me. They last me ages and ages and I use them every day, so definitely good options. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you travelers. I keep all of these things in this little makeup bag. It fits easily in my purse, in my carry-on, and everything can go through airport security without being thrown out. Like, liquid foundations can't because often they're too big and they have to be chucked. None of these things are going to spill or leak into your luggage. They're just really great products. They're easy to use while you're abroad. I don't use brushes when I'm traveling. They're too much effort to carry and clean so I use the little pads that come with it and my fingers and it works great. So maybe not Sephora but honestly I've tried Sephora products in the past like I've been given them for Christmas. They're fun and they're great but I just for me, personally, it's not a significant enough difference in quality for me to want to spend that much money and time on makeup. If, like me, you don't want to spend 30 minutes putting on makeup in the morning, I have a 4-minute makeup tutorial over in this here direction, and I'll show you how to put on this particular look if that suits your fancy. Please give this a thumbs up if it's been helpful, and subscribe for more Fast Fashion Fridays. Enjoy your coffee, and have a good day.